Do you have a pecker problem? If so, today's video is for you. Okay, well today's video deals with woodpeckers. First several years in our home, we had frequent visits from woodpeckers. Our home has uh, this uh, architectural foam and uh, covered in a stucco or drive it type finish. And that's how the, all the borders and the framing and all that's done around the windows. Well, if you'll notice right there, that is a woodpecker hole. So the woodpeckers come, they love pecking on this stuff because they think they're gonna find insects in it. So the first few years, I was just patching it. Um, I'm gonna show you the patch I use as well. This video is probably gonna be one of the simplest videos we've ever made. I'm gonna review two simple products, one to patch and the other to fend off these woodpeckers because we haven't had them back since. Let me go through the two products. Okay, so here's my two product review. Uh, as a DIYer, I love Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, all of them, right? They all have some cool stuff. <clears throat> But I did some investigating online when I first had this woodpecker problem and um, came across this product that I ended up getting on Amazon. And I'll share the link. It uh, was here in a day. It was super convenient to get it. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's probably in some of those stores, but I don't know which one, so I can't tell you. Um, this is a product called Stucco Patch by Quitcrete. Uh, I got this a few years ago. It's still good. I keep it in my garage, so it does get somewhat cold in my garage, too, during the winter. Um, but when we first started having the woodpecker problems, I got this and started patching the holes. However, they just continued to keep coming back um, and woodpeck new holes. So good product, fills the holes, uh, kind of looks rough like your stucco, my particular stucco or drive it finish, whatever's on there has a little bit of a texture to it. So actually just putting this on with a putty knife makes it look very close to the same finish as what was uh, sprayed on when they built the home. So good product for patching those holes. The second product uh, I came across to um, deter the woodpeckers from coming out of the house. So I did a little investigation again, uh, ended up coming across this particular product. Uh, there's a lot of different reflective tapes and things that you can get. Uh, some of those tapes, as you read about them, seem to fend off or ward off or deter like predatory birds too. Um, which I did not want to do here. We have a lot of peregrine falcons, hawks, some owls around here, and I wanted to keep them coming around. So we like seeing those. So I didn't want to deter them. I just wanted to keep these woodpeckers off the stinking house. So this was one in particular that they said the woodpeckers don't like. So it's just a plastic chrome plated, like a chrome plating plastic piece, and you hang it on some fish line, and I use some eye hooks into the soffits of my house, and they just kind of spin and twirl around as the wind moves them. And as it reflects, apparently it annoys the woodpeckers. And I will tell you, when we put these up last year, we never saw another woodpecker on our house. They're in the trees and stuff around our house, but they never came to our house again. I have these in about five or six locations on the soffits where they tended to come around and they have not been back. So took them down for winter just because I figured they ended up getting broke in our winters here in Michigan. Just put them back up for this season and we'll see if they keep them away this year as well. But those are the two products. We're very happy with them. Got them both on Amazon. Again, I'll share the links. And hopefully if you put them up, they keep the woodpeckers off your house as well. Okay, so as I mentioned, there's the holes that I patched last year. And you can see right where we hung these little spirally reflective plastic pieces that we got on Amazon. As soon as I hung those up, the woodpeckers quit coming around. I was able to patch the holes. I just never painted them. So this year I got to paint them. So this is one area of our house where they were attacking. Uh, there's another area over by our turret room and hung three or four of them over there as well. And on each peak kind of, and the woodpeckers quit coming around. So seems to be a really good deterrent for them. Uh, has fixed our problem. Now I got to get back to painting. Okay, well, I hope this video helped you out. Hopefully it gave you a product to deter the woodpeckers from your home and also gave you a product to repair some of those woodpecker damages on your house now. So until next time, stay blessed.